All right, so I'm still getting used to this. Uh, every other of our babies uh, breastfed, so so uh, I haven't had to get up in the middle of the night and uh, and feed them. Uh, just wasn't practical. It's not that I wouldn't have, but uh, if uh, if they were uh, feeding for mommy, then uh, they don't need the bottle. But tonight I'm up sick, 4 a.m. Still got to get up and feed the baby. A lot more appreciation for my wife <laughs> after this. But uh, she is right there eating from her pigeon bottle. Now, um, real quick, I'm going to make her mad here for a second. This right here is the pigeon bottle. Um, so, uh, looks like a normal bottle. Um, has some slightly different uh, cross cuts under here. And um, let's see if I can... I know. Hold on. Okay, so if you look in here, there's a little device in there that makes sure that uh, there's lots of pressure so that when she pushes on the nipple, all she has to do is push on the nipple and it uh, and, and food comes out and, and milk comes out. She doesn't have to suck as much. Uh, it makes it a lot easier. Um, back on get it back in her mouth here so uh, when she eats uh, she uh, she just uh, pushes on it and and that makes milk come out it makes it uh, a lot easier for uh, uh, a baby who doesn't have much suction to to let the milk in uh, I, I showed earlier that she was breastfeeding in the NICU. Well, the problem is, 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 uh, while she was breastfeeding, uh, uh, likely it wasn't a very solid experience. Uh, um, what the, uh, lactation specialist told us is that it's like sucking through a straw with a hole in it. And, uh, when you suck through the straw with a hole in it, you get a little bit out, but it's really frustrating to drink from a straw with a hole in it. So, uh, so breastfeeding from from that angle uh just wouldn't have been a fun experience for her and uh and uh she gave up after first few days uh, um we'll likely try again once she gets her first surgery her lips get closed up uh, along the the front right here and um and they'll give her a little bit of a retainer which will seal off some of her uh cleft palate and uh and at that point, they say a lot of babies uh, can pick up breastfeeding again. We're trying to decide if that's the direction we want to go on this one. We're we're big fans of breastfeeding, but uh, oh, my wife is big fans of breastfeeding. Um, I'm just here for <laughs> support, but uh, that's the story. But uh, anyway, um, so that's the pigeon bottle. Uh, this is getting up at 4 a.m. Not feeling well, but. Uh, we're surviving. That's how it goes. Uh, just normal baby problems. Nothing big. But, uh... So it also has its perks. Um, feeding the baby also has its perks. So um, the other thing she'll do is she'll sit here and she'll just look into my eyes and just stare there. She just sits there, looks at me. Hard to see here, but she's looking right at my eyes. So, uh, I don't think I mentioned there are actually a couple of different types of feeding bottles. There's the pigeon bottle, which I showed you. Um, we showed you in the previous uh, video, um, our second video on this, we uh, showed you the, um, the Haberman uh, bottle, which uh, you have to squeeze the nipple to, to get stuff to come out. There's another one that you can actually put a tube into the back of their, their throat and 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 basically push milk into into their throat. And then there's another one we haven't tried. I'm trying to remember the name of it, but uh, um, some people like that one too. So um, at some point we've got to try that one. But she's she's smiling. But uh, we like the pigeon bottle. It seems to work well. We did find 
it was a little slow in her drinking. So what we would do, what we did is we cut open a, a, the slit on the nipple just a little bit bigger and, uh, and uh, that let more milk through and she drinks a lot faster now. Um, and she handled it just fine. So, um, just a little tip and maybe I'll do another video just on that, on how to do that. But, uh, um, lots of fun though. Now she's looking off in the distance, but, but she'll go back and she'll look at me in the eyes and stare at me. Didn't get quite get that when she was breastfeeding because she's more attached to mom. She kissed again. What are you watching, Emily? What are you watching? Emily? Hey. Emily? Emily? What are we watching? What are we watching? <laughs> Too silly. We watching Mickey Mouse? Watching Mickey Mouse? <laughs> Say Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Mickey Mouse. Yeah. We're watching with little Juliet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you like Mickey Mouse? You say Mickey Mouse. Say Mickey Mouse. <laughs> She's being shy.